Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to read the story of Giraffes Can't Dance. It's one of the best seller that's sold for books and it also is among the books which should be read by kindergarten students among the best hundred books that the world uh, that is accepted worldwide and it has wonderful illustrations. Giraffes Can't Dance. Look how vividly yellow it is. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bendy and his legs were rather thin. Can you all see the Gerald here? Look how tall neck he has and he has bandy limbs. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when it tried to run around, he buckled at the knees and look what happens when he tries to run. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt very sad because when it came to dancing, he was really, really bad. Can you all see all the animals who have gathered to see them dance, uh, see each other dance? The warthogs sort started waltzing. The rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango which was elegant and bold. The chimps did a cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And the eight baboons went teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked through the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at that clumsy Gerald. The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be a deft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They are right, he thought. I am useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. Can you all see here? He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, he coughed a cricket. Who'd seen Gerald earlier on? But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Can you all see the cricket here? Who's talking to Gerald? Listen to the swaying grass. Listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. Can you all see Gerald is almost dancing? He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt in the air. Can you all see the somersault? Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I am dancing. I am dancing, cried Gerald. And then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived was Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever, ever seen. Can you all see all the animals are coming and seeing Gerald dance? He's dancing with all different poses and music. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow. See, look at him finishing with a bow. Then he raised up his head high and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. This is one of the very good books to teach children that we are none of us is bad at anything and we all can 
do what we like the way we like it if we find the right music that is being played and especially good for parents to know you need not to be disheartened when your kids can't do something because kids definitely will do something nice when they love what is being taught to them thank you do subscribe to my youtube channel to get notifications for the further new uh, storytelling videos that are being uploaded thank you very much